Leon here with the Songwriter's Mentor, and so far we've talked about why do you want to write songs and what do you write about, and now on to the next question, who's going to listen to your songs? If you're like most songwriters, you want people to hear what you do. That's why you perform your own songs or you try to find somebody willing to sing them. And if you're an emerging songwriter, naturally, you're curious to find out what an audience thinks of your creations. And you may also be wondering about what kind of people will make up your audience. It's natural for you as a performing songwriter to ponder over just who your audience is. What type or types of people are going to respond to your music? Will your songs appeal to a younger crowd, to the middle-aged, to all ages? Some of this can be determined by how old you are. You know, if you're 20 something, which seems pretty young to me, <laughs> but you'll find yourself with fans of your own age. If you're in your 30s or 40s, the same thing applies, but remember, this is not a hard and fast rule because many artists have followers from varying age groups, especially ones who've been around for a long time. There's really only one way to find out who your audience is, and that's to go out and perform as often as possible in as many different settings as possible. <laughs> but of course, you've got to have something to perform. So I'm going to assume that you've written a few songs, maybe quite a few. Or if you're just getting started, you've written enough to make up a good program. You know, you don't need a huge catalog of songs to begin performing. You, know, you can't start out doing four-hour Bruce Springsteen-style concerts. You just need a half dozen good tunes, and that will enable you to play in many places. You can play in a coffee house, a private party, a house concert, bookstore, a cafe, a church. You can play at a Songwriters Association meeting and a showcase, many different places. And then you want to make your songs as effective and well-crafted as you can and use all the tools at your disposal. And that's, of course, what I do as the Songwriters Mentor. I help you make sure that those songs are as strong as they can be and that they will strongly communicate whatever message you're trying to get out there through your songwriting. One of the most difficult truths that every songwriter must accept, and you've got to accept this, and it's tough, not everyone's going to love what you do. And I'm going to assume that you're accomplished as a writer and a performer at this point, you're out performing regularly, or even if you're just getting started. You're going to have people that immediately love what you do, and they want to become your fans. And then you're going to have others who, who like what you do, but they're not necessarily fanatical about it, and some are going to be indifferent to your work. Now, unless you are outrageous and you're a boundary-pushing artist, you're really not going to have anybody out there who actively hates you. But I would encourage you as a songwriter to write in a style that suits you best. Now, you're not necessarily restricted to writing in one style. You may be able to write convincingly within a number of musical genres. However, don't try to write and perform in a popular style just so people will like it. Just be who you are. <laughs> that sounds simple, but you know some big stars have ignored this advice. Anyone out there ever hear of Ethel Merman's disco album? <laughs> now, now, Merman was not a songwriter, but as a performer she had a very recognizable style. Back in the 1930s she had no equal when it came to belting out the great Broadway tunes written by the world's greatest songwriters. But by the time the 70s rolled around, she or at least those who advised her, thought she should try to keep up with the times by recording a disco album. It was not a hit. Actually, it's not that bad if you listen to it, but there was another famous artist who got caught in this trap, and that's one of the greatest performing songwriters of all time, Sir Elton John. You know that his disco album, Victim of Love, is usually ranked as his worst album. What is it with disco albums, anyway? He didn't even write the songs. And he later admitted that he was better off sticking to what he did best. And he vowed never again to work in a certain style simply because it was popular. Now, I'm not saying that you should never try to expand and explore different musical styles. As you continue on as a songwriter, occasionally you may want to experiment. And often established artists will do this to freshen their sound. However, the ones who do this successfully are exploring types of music that interest and move them. They're not simply trying to do what is popular at the moment. Now, Paul Simon and Sting were two artists who successfully did this. And I actually got to see the two of them perform together in concert. 
Paul Simon, as you may know, experimented with using South African musicians and musical styles on his album Graceland, and he also started writing songs in a new way. He was writing to completed backing tracks, and he revived himself creatively through this unique process, and no one was doing what he was doing at the time. He was even criticized for borrowing musical styles that were not his own. But his experiments were successful because it was obvious to his audience that this type of music inspired him to new heights of creativity. Sting, of course, became famous as a member of the police, a band doing a style of music that no group had done before or since. Since he went solo, he experimented with jazz, country, and other influences in his music, but he never tried to adapt his sound to what was currently popular. You know, in the 90s, he never tried to do grunge, you know. And as a result, he continues to write and perform unique, compelling, and original music. He followed his muse, as it were, and a huge portion of his audience went with him. And so it is with you as a songwriter. What interests you musically? Don't be afraid to try something that maybe no one else is doing. So the main thing that I want you to learn from this particular video is be yourself as a songwriter, write what you know, and write in a style that suits you, but don't be afraid to expand. But only expand into those areas in which you have an interest. You know, maybe you write songs that are kind of like folk music, singer-songwriter stuff, very mellow. Maybe you'd like to write something more upbeat because that's interesting to you, not because you think it's going to be popular and get you a lot of fans. Don't let yourself get into one little musical box, as it were, and never try to expand yourself. Just don't do it in order to get popular. Thank you for watching, and I encourage you to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video, and I'll see you next time.